In this video, I want to provide an example of a band instrument. And the example which we're going to be thinking about here is our sort of familiar example where we are trying to decipher the effect which the number of years of education has on an individual's level of wage. And the problem with estimating beta here, which is the return on education via OLS, is that education is likely correlated with a number of omitted factors which are contained within the population error UI. So the instrument which I'm going to be talking about here is, let's say we chose to use an instrument which was the parental education. So the number of years of education which either or both of your parents actually obtained. So the idea here is that parental education should affect an individual's level of education, but it should not affect this sort of error term, or it should not be correlated with the error term, rather. And we actually stated that there are two different conditions which must be upheld in order for beta hat IV to be what we call consistent. So the first of the conditions is that the covariance in the population of parental education with this sort of population error term has got to be equal to zero. So that just means that parental education shouldn't affect an individual's level of wages through any other channel except for an individual's level or their children's level of education rather. That was the first condition and the second condition was that the covariance of parental education with their children's education has got to be non-zero. So let's think about both of these assumptions in turn. I'm actually going to do them in reverse order. So the sort of first thing we're going to look at is the second condition here. So do we think it's likely that there is a covariance between an individual's level of education and their parents' level of education? or I should really have these two the other way around, but it doesn't really matter for these purposes. Well, I likely think that there is a positive correlation between these two factors, because their parents might teach their children to read and to write, and they might provide them with some sort of, sort of motivation for obtaining more edu education, and they might sort of tend to lend more sort of value to obtaining education meaning that there's likely a positive correlation between an individual's level of education and their parental level of education. So it's likely that the second condition is actually upheld. There's definitely some sort of correlation between these two things in the population. How about the first condition though? So the first condition means that there has got to be zero covariance between an end or the, a parent's level of education and this sort of error term UI. I'm going to first of all think about the sort of various things which parental education might be correlated with. One of the things that parental education might be correlated with might be parental income. And it is likely that this is a positive correlation because we sort of expect, just as we do for their children, that there will be a sort of positive return to education meaning that there is some sort of positive correlation between parental education and parental income. So why have I actually brought up this parental income? Well, in my view, it's likely that this sort of error term here actually contains parental's income, or parental income rather, because it is likely that parental income actually affects an individual's level of wages. And what sort of form do we expect this to have? Well, we expect again that there is likely to be some sort of positive correlation between an individual level of wage and parental income. Perhaps a sort of parent which earns more can afford to send their child to sort of better quality schools. Or you could be more cynical and say that it's, it's not what you know, it's who you know. So parents who have high levels of income might be better placed to a, a sort of aid their children into getting better paid jobs. And both of these sort of reasons would suggest that there is some positive correlation between wages and parental income. So why have I brought this up? 
Well, I brought this up because of the fact that parental education is correlated with parental income. And because of this sort of second graph I've drawn here, it is likely the case that parental income is sort of contained within this error UI, meaning that parental education is actually correlated with this sort of UI term here. So we've actually got a violation of this first condition. And it is almost certainly the case that there is a covariance in the population of parental education with this error UI, which doesn't equal zero. So we actually know under these conditions that it is likely that beta hat IV is what we call inconsistent. So by inconsistent, we mean that as we increase the sample size, the, we still have some sort of bias in our sort of estimates, which beta hat IV outputs. In the next video, I want to provide another example of a sort of bad instrumental variable. I'll see you then.